what is arguably his biggest professional match to date. Up against a top ten player in front of a big crowd and in front of the cameras. Pretty much uncharted territory for Corston. Bingham, of course, vastly experienced in contrast. Former Aussie Open champion, runner up at the Wuxi Classic and the Welsh Open. One. Former Premier League champion, as we were mentioning earlier, with that stunning performance to take the title last year, beating Judd Trump in the final, having whitewashed both Neil Robertson and Mark Selby on the same night. But there is another elementary error from Bingham, who really uh, struggled to settle out there in the early stages. Just goes to show, it doesn't matter how good you are, if you're slightly off your game. Errors can occur, and that was about as routine as a yellow gets. No wonder Bingham's shaking his head. Well, what a lovely pot that was wow. from Corston, who's visibly growing in confidence with every passing shot. Terrific red. Eleven touching ball. Well, unlucky there, the wide just stuck. Don't know whether we've still got this red to the yellow pocket. Not sure whether we can see enough of it. Well, it's touching, so you can just play away from the pack here. A confident start from the young man here, though, Phil. Well, hey, it looks like he's been out there for a little while. Rank Very much so. He's got a couple of uh, superb long reds. One at the start of that mini break. Keeping the pressure on Bingham with a good safety. Well, caught that thinner than intended and a rather favourable bounce off the bumper for Bingham. It's just another look at a possible uh, and a possible red to the right corner here. It might be a, a shot to nothing. I'm just looking at the red that's just right of the pink. 
think it does go to this right corner pocket. Well, he did take that red on, and I suggested, but as you can see, he caught it miles too thick. So a chance here for Stewart. But, um, where's the colour coming from? Well, that's a great shot to get wow. there. Just look at that cue power. Uh, he's got a shot on the blue. Yes, he had a chance on that red. Might have to sit this one out. We shall see. You just get the feeling, though, Phil, at some stage, although that's not a great shot from Stewart there, positional-wise, that you, you feel that Stewart's going to kick into Six. gear and then experience will tell eventually. Well, you'd think so, but it has been a very ropey opening from Bingham. Play the safety. Stuart Bingham, six. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed that he only scored six off that. Good shot there from Stuart Bingham. This is awkward for young Ryan. Well, he's got the mistake out of him. Fifteen. Twenty-one. 
wanted to. Well, just try and win the frame at this visit if he can and just sort of kick start his match. Well, this will open up the other two reds to that same corner pocket. Oh, well, that's not good. He's short on the pink. He's going away from the red slightly. Won't be best pleased with that. It was better to be top side of the pink, if anything. Well, he leads by 38. Great chance here to make it one apiece. Well, he's ever done that. Well, he's still OK. He'll have to play on the reds, uh, two reds on the right-hand side now. going to be a question of when and not 49. if that, uh, Stuart really starts to play well. This is better. 20. One of the favours, of course, to lift the title 20. this weekend. Well established in the top 16 now, Stuart. of Asian PTC titles last year. So he's a fan of the genre. 56. Then he misses that one. Well, wow, just as well that he'd done enough already. Needs three snookers here, young Ryan. Not vintage Bingham by any means in the early stages, but it looks as though he's going to come out of the opening jousts of this match, level pegging at one all. One well, I think he's had enough of this one. Frame, yes, Corsten's yeah, sure. failure to pot the black set the seal on that frame. So Stuart Bingham, in none too convincing fashion, has levelled the match against Ryan Corsten. It's one frame apiece, and we'll have frame three in a couple of moments. <laughs> 